So what we have here is the Heimer tool room where we have uh, uh, a few of our equipment set up. And what I'd like to do is simulate actually going ahead and starting a job from start to finish as far as getting your tool holder assembly put together. The goal of this, of course, is to really just give you the most consistent setup each and every time as the machine, as the tool holder assembly goes to the machine tool. This really allows a mold maker, for instance, to really have a reliable, consistent, lights out type machining possibility. So really we have all kinds of functions we can do. So we've got a new software called the DAC. It's something that can help walk yourself through this process, but in, in simple terms, what we could do is scan either the QR code, data matrix code on the holder, or even the QR code that we printed out earlier on a presetter, this would tell us where to go. It would tell us where to go find the tool. So for instance, in this case, we're gonna go find our tool holder. So here's our tool holder in this case. It's a power shrink from Heimer. It tells us where to find the cutting tool. So we look in the drawer, we find our 10 millimeter power Heimer mill, and we come on over. So now we're gonna work our way over to the shrink fit machine to assemble the tool. So this is our Profi uh, Premium Plus shrink fit machine, which we haven't talked about yet, but this machine has the ability to shrink from three millimeter to 50 millimeters or eighth inch to two inch capacity. So what I'm gonna do is get this ready to go. It's got our motorized coil. So in this case, we're just gonna tell it which diameter we're shrinking. This is a 10 millimeter shank tool. We press this button here and the coil will automatically go to the correct position. I'm also going to set the Z axis height. So for this example, I want to be at 6.7 inch gauge line. And this is another thing that our i4.0 series will be able to do is, is guide you through where you want to set this tooling assembly up once you have the data. So now we come over, we press and hold the button as we did before, tool heats up. We put this in. Now this has a spring, so it's actually springing up the cutting tool to the stop, the positive stop. I've set this six thousandths higher because as it shrinks in Z, it will be exactly at 6.7 inches. So now we let it cool. We get the height gauge out of the way and bring it over to this position on the machine. These are our cooling bodies that come down automatically. They will also go up automatically once the cooling cycle is done. So while this one is cooling, I just wanted to show another function, because as we've always talked about, shrink fit, especially for die mold type application, is great for this kind of reach with extensions or slim profiles. So if we have to do a very, very large mold or something like that, we can go all the way up to a two inch capacity. So while on the same machine, we have another coil, and another device where we can actually shrink up to two inch capacity. So here we bring this tool over and come down. And now I've got a big steel extension with a 50 millimeter OD, which I'm gonna shrink out. So again, with just in a few seconds and just a couple fingers, I'll be able to lift this tool out. Tool came out. Again, if I have my new tool ready, I can put it in. And now we can cool. So we slide over to here and start the cooling cycle. So again, you have the red and, right, red and green lights that are indicating whether or not the tool holder assembly is cool or not. And then we're gonna be waiting for this one. We've got, it's got a time cycle. It is blinking right now, so in theory, I could take this up. It's certainly not, uh, not gonna be hot to the touch, but we're gonna go the full cycle in this regard, which is 100 seconds. And as it releases, it will go straight up, and then I can grab it. The next step will be to bring it over to the balancer presetter. So this is a machine that we have that actually can do balancing and presetting on one, one machine and we will balance the tool holder assembly, then we'll preset it. Then we're ready to go. So you, you will really get a worldwide or a real life uh, example of setting up a, tool full, a full tooling assembly. And the idea of doing this is doing it off the machine. So the machine is running right now. So you're setting up the tools for the next job. That's really important as it relates to 
uh, really maximizing your time and maximizing the up time on the machine. For instance, doing offline presetting, while of course lasers are very nice uh, for edge detection and or just to make sure that cutting edge is still good, we want to make sure that we're actually presetting off the machine and not on the machine itself because that's really wasting valuable machine time. So now we're going to go over here. This is our tool dynamic preset machine. So it's actually got two softwares built into one, both presetting and balancing. So in this regard, or in this example, we're going to balance the tool first. We've got balancing rings on this holder. So I place the, the tool holder into the machine, ramps up. We're trying to balance this tool holder to G2.5 at 25,000 RPM. This is the full assembly, of course, as it will run the machine tool. It takes a reading. As we demonstrated earlier, we index the tool 180 degrees and take another reading. Again, this index is to take the unbalance of this spindle out of the equation, so we truly just get the unbalance of the tool holder assembly. And as opposed to using screws like we did in the previous example, we're gonna show you doing balancing rings. This is a method of displacing weight to bring the assembly into balance. So now it tells us we're not balanced. We are balanced at G2.5 at 5,400 RPM. At the 25,000 RPM, we're at G11.3. So what does it tell me to do? It tells me where to position each ring. And again, each ring has a known unbalance built in. And there's clear indication on the machine where to position the ring based on a scribe line, which would be impossible to see on the video, but there's a scribe line on these little rings. I'm just loosening a screw and then placing it in line with the laser. And the laser does get brighter when you're in the right position. We do this one as well. So now we lock it down. Of course, we need to confirm, are we, still, are we now truly balanced? So we take a measurement again. And again, you could do this where you just shrink all your tools at once, then bring them to the balancer and preset. Or if it's one tool at a time, this might be the way you do it. So just to try to show a real life tool room setup. So here's our results. So we're currently now at G2.2 at the 25,000 RPM. The green is a good indication that we're balanced. So now we've shrunk the tool and we've, pre and we've balanced the tool. Now it's time to preset. So again, utilizing the exact same machine, we can preset it here. So as I bring the carrier, the optical carrier over, it actually automatically changes the, the software into presetting. So now what we do is we come over, Again, using our handy edge detection feature, we bring it in so that we can see where we're at. And we, we get ready to measure the tool. Now, one thing I'm gonna do in this tool that I haven't showed yet is actually use the Sigma function. As you see, we're exactly at 6.7 inches, but I'm gonna use Sigma. Sigma is a neat function. It actually finds the highest Z and X dimension as you rotate 360 degrees. So we're just slightly over 6.7 uh, inches in the gauge line. So that's exactly what we tried to accomplish with the shrinking part. And here's our Z dimension here. At this point, we can print out a label, bring it over to the machine, manually enter the data, or we can send the data directly to the machine tool via a post processor, or we can have even a manual RFID system where we can read a data chip on the holder. So again, that's really the whole setup process of getting the tools ready to go. And with Heimer, we're always trying to give you the best and most consistent tool holder assembly possible so that you can really get the max out of your machine tool. So, so that is really the takeaway that I'd like to stress here today, that, that really um, where we can be beneficial for you besides some of the obvious things of deep reach, slim profiles, great surface finish, is just giving you the best foot forward. And as we move into this industry I 4.0 movement where data is collected and analyzed by the machine, this will be even more evident to have a full tooling solution. And that's something Heimer can offer.